Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine, if you are new here. I do anything from crafting videos, entertainment videos, party ideas, and movie nights. All things that I love to do. If you like those things too, or you just wanna join in the fun, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, because I would love to have you. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing some treat ideas and craft ideas inspired by the live action movie that just came out on Disney Plus, Mulan. So let's go ahead and get started into the video. In order to make our candy sushi, we will need fruit roll-ups of any flavor and kind, sour gummy worms, rice krispie treats, Swedish fish, marshmallows, starbursts, and sour punch straws. First, you will take a small circle cookie cutter and press down into the rice krispie treat. This will give it its circle shape. Then remove it from the cookie cutter. You can mold it if you like to and cut the extra rice krispie treat and put it on the side for later. Next, take your fruit roll-up, which is serving as the seaweed, and wrap it on the outside of the Rice Krispie Treat. And then take your candy, which I'm going to use sour patch straws, and cut it into little bitty pieces and put it on top. And for my next sushi roll, I'm going to take my sour apple fruit roll up and wrap it around the outside of the Rice Krispie Treat. And then I'm going to take my sour gummy worms and my gummy worms and cut it up in little bitty pieces to decorate the top. I do apologize for the shaking of the camera. The table likes to move. And after I got done cutting, I began to have so much fun decorating the sushi. I liked how I used the different colors and it displays on the sushi roll. It made it really look like sushi, which was fun. And there you have it, our first sushi rolls. For our second sushi roll, we're going to take the extra Rice Krispie treats that we had and we're going to put a red sweetest fish on top and take a smaller thin piece of fruit roll-up and wrap it around the entire Rice Krispie Treat to hold down the fish. For this next sushi treat, take a Rice Krispie Treat, cut it in half and set the other one aside. Then take your starburst and microwave them for 10 seconds. This will allow them to soften. Take the two orange starbursts and shape and mold them to fit the top of the Rice Krispie Treat. Make sure to mold the ends. Then take a knife using the back side of the knife and make vertical lines. And for this next one, you're gonna repeat the same process. And then take your back of your knife and do diagonal lines across. And there you have it, some more cute sushi treats. And for our last candy sushi, I'm gonna take my roller and I'm just gonna roll it over the Rice Krispie Treat to flatten it out. Then afterwards, I'm gonna start taking pieces of my candy and filling it in. In this case, sour punch straws, marshmallow, and sour gummies. After I'm done filling all the candy inside, I'm just gonna roll it over and then mold it together and add my seaweed fruit roll up around the outside of the Rice Krispie Treat. This is another fun way to make another different type of roll. And then I made another one and by repeating the steps. And there you have it, our final sushi treats. And another thing we cannot forget is chocolate syrup for soy sauce and green buttercream frosting for wasabi.
Next is the delicious Moulin Shake. You will need French vanilla and pistachio ice cream, pink candy melts, mini Oreos, whipped cream, cherries with a stem, and spoons. And to decorate your cup, you will need a glass cup and blue and red ribbon. Lightly grease your plastic spoon with cooking spray. Then melt 1 4th cup of pink candy melts in the microwave for 30 seconds until melted. Then pipe teardrop shaped dollops onto the center of the grease spoon. If need be, use a toothpick to help you shape it. And then when you are done, place the spoon into the freezer. You will need to make at least six of these. Prep your milkshake glass by wrapping the blue ribbon with tape or hot glue to secure to your glass. And now add the thinner red ribbon in the middle of the blue ribbon and secure it with tape or glue. And ta-da! So you get something like this. Now in a blender, you wanna take one cup of French vanilla ice cream and then add two tablespoons of milk and then blend until creamy and after you're done blending pour it into the cup and place it in the freezer now take your pistachio ice cream one cup and place it into the blender and add another two tablespoons of milk now when making this, my the color didn't come out green so I had to add green food coloring. But after you're done blending, it should look something like this. Now we're going to work on the Magnolia Blossom Cookies. Once you've took them off the spoon and they've hardened, place a small amount of melted chocolate onto the center of a mini Oreo cookie and start attaching the pink chocolate petals onto the cookie. Now we're going to top our milkshake with whipped cream. As you can see, I went a little overboard. Next, we're going to add some green fun straws. Then add our Magno Blossom flour cookie. And then my favorite part, green sprinkles. And for some more fun, we're going to add some crushed up Oreo cookies, crumbs, on the top. and a cherry on top. And there you have our Moulin Milkshake. Now we're gonna do a fun fan craft. You will need a ruler tape measure, crayons, hole puncher, color construction paper, red ribbon, and disposable chopsticks. Take a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and cut it down to five and a half by 11 inches. Then take a white crayon and your ruler and measure out one inches to measure out the folds. And then take your crayons and start to decorate the fan. This is how the fold should look, but you want to fold it from front to back and repeat until the entire thing is folded. And it should look like something like this. Now grab your hole puncher and punch three holes onto each end.
And after you are done hole punching, go ahead and take the small pointy end of the chopstick and weave it through the paper, over and under, on both sides. And when you are finished with that, crisscross the bottom sticks and tie the red ribbon into a bow to secure it. And there we have a beautiful homemade fan. If you're looking for some more pre-movie craft ideas, you can take all the treats I've shown you to make candy sushi, prepackage them and create kits for your guests to make for themselves, or buy pre-made plain fans and have your guests decorate them with paint. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. All right, guys, wasn't that fun? I sure hope you enjoyed. Be sure if you did like it, give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to see all the great content I have coming your way. Also, go ahead and share this video with a friend to get all excited about the movie Mulan, as well as if you make these treats, go ahead and tag me on Instagram and Twitter at totallyjazzy underscore YouTube and Twitter totallyjazzy. And ring that notification bell so you know the next time I post. I would love to see all your guys' creations and see you guys again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.